I don't think I've ever uh, had a vehicle that far in a building before. Definitely one for the Bronx. It's going to be interesting to get this out. For the maintenance. Well, we're going to an accident. Seems uh, got somebody driving into the living room and apartment complex. The driver has fled the scene. They uh, called in, said no one's hurt, but uh, the living room's kind of messed up. 8-8. 29 control. 229 County can advise. Uh, he's been on radio contact with him. He won't answer him. Well, this doesn't look good. 10 10-4. Everybody all right? How'd this happen? Over here? Yeah. Did anyone see who was driving? I don't know who was driving. They would know who's driving. Okay. Are you all right? Is this your car? Yeah. What happened? Well, I got a part the car. But then my baby was crying in the back seat, so I turned around to see what he was doing, and I heard the gas accidentally. I didn't. I thought I parked the car. Okay. You have your license and registration. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I thought I hit somebody in there in the house. I thought I killed somebody. You still live in Kentucky, or do you have a local address? No, I live here. I'm, I'm a student up here, so. Okay, and this is your yeah, house? Yeah, this is my house. How many people were in the car with you? It was me and him and our son. And you're all right? Everybody's all right? <laughs> 241 control. 241. I'm going to need a wrecker. Advise him it's a sport utility vehicle. It's completely inside the uh, apartment. Yes, and it's not a hit and run. Is the owner of the apartment here? This is your apartment? Yeah. Apparently, um, nobody was hurt? I just got home. She was in there. Okay. Be careful. 438 North Village, 438 North Village, Employee Tamara Kimbrough. Husband came to her job earlier. Four units at 1809. Have you step out here? Be careful. Don't step on any. Out of Indiana. A negative would be through Kentucky. So, what did you have here in front of the window? Um, a chair. chair the stuff that's over there. Okay, so you have, is your TV broken? Have you have, looked, have you had a look at it? Uh -uh. Chair, TV, anything that was sitting on? A table. Well, it's all up there in the front, I can't. Stereo. Stereo. Okay. Well, we're gonna have a uh, wrecker yank it out of here. And uh, I don't know how maintenance is gonna help you out. They'll probably have to put you in another apartment for a little bit, okay? She couldn't stop? No, she was she was parking her car right there when her baby was making a fuss. She looked back in the back seat to see if the baby was okay, and instead of hitting the brake, hit the gas, jumps the curb, goes into the apartment, knocks down everything, pushes all their furniture way back into the kitchen area. I don't think I've ever... Uh, had a vehicle that far in a building before. Definitely one for the books. It's going to be interesting to get this out. So the maintenance man will be by to fix this one yeah. you, right? Oh, yeah. The maintenance man's doing a lot of work today over here in this complex. He's had to replace a door on a burglary. Now they're going to have to replace a, uh, a wall and a window. It's going to be one block east of Waller Road in the ultimate immigrant block. Two by the other red Camaro 5, no I don't think there's much damage to it. 
Oh, we got some scratches here. A little bump here. Mostly cosmetic damage. Did she say she wanted to have a toad or just yanked out of here? She didn't say. Well, here she is right here. What do you think? This car drivable? Well, I'd probably say it's drivable. I mean, I don't think it's hurting anything as far as underneath or anything. Definitely gonna have to be called on the insurance company because you got a lot of scratches and stuff on here, a lot of damage from it. I don't know, I would say your best bet would be probably to go ahead and have it towed in. How about as far as driving, is it drivable? Because I probably need the car for it. It's drivable. I mean, I wouldn't say it hurt anything underneath. It just got a lot of scratches, a lot of glass and stuff on it. Uh, if you don't want to have it towed, um, your obligation to the record driver is for whatever he charges you to have it yanked out there. So um, you can, unfortunately, you have to pay him now. Yeah, oh, I if, if you don't have the money now, then I would have to take the vehicle with me. Okay, I'll just pay. How much is the car? It'd be $50. How much going to be? It has to be cash, can't be checked, or visa, or anything. It has to be cash. Okay, you're going to have to run to a bank and come back. Do you have a ride to go to a bank machine? Yeah, he yeah. got a car. You want to go ahead and do that real yeah. quick? I'll, I'll hang out okay. here. Okay, Aubrey, can you do that? Yeah. I think I got your car keys in here. I think the only thing that's really damaged is the that table uh, and the lamps. <laughs> and uh, you got some, like, picture frames and wow. the clock and some personal little things that are probably going to have to be replaced. They're broken. Good stuff's okay. All righty. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. You're welcome.